What is up everybody? In today's video, I want to go over a midterm, well, I guess semi-long-term review of the Hot Sun Blitz. Now that I've had a lot of time to fire this gun, being full auto, I've sent probably like 500 to 1,000 rounds at least downrange, maybe more. And the more I'm shooting it, the more I'm liking it. At first, it had a rough start. It, like, was... It had a few leaks, a few damage to rings when it got to me. It's no, I really don't have too much shame on Hatsan's part because, well, they're probably one of the biggest and most busy manufacturers going on right now just because of this gun. And they probably, it was an oversight, I guess. This was a refurb, so who knows. Uh, I do notice though, after fixing all those problems, and after shooting maybe a couple hundred rounds, the gun is starting to cycle a little better. I did actually do some tweaking to the power tuning, which helped tremendously. Uh, I think, again, someone at the manufacturing plant, they forgot. So, there's two outer screws for the power tuning. There's one that actually twists a spring. It's like, I think, around here somewhere and it twit compresses a spring, and that spring is what hits a valve here that opens a little burst of air. So obviously the more compressed the spring, the longer that valve is open, the more power you're going to get per shot. And I found that screw was like, the set screw that was holding that screw in place was loose, and that screw had actually walked out on me. So I fixed that up, and now it's working pretty well. Occasionally it fails to cycle, but that's pretty rare. Um, I also have gotten increased accuracy because I'm now using uh, GSP Hades rounds, which I don't have on me right now, but you guys probably know it's got the little radiation hook and symbol on the tip. So a skirted pellet definitely works better in this gun than a slug. Likely because this is a lower velocity air gun. And all in all, I'm content with this gun. It's a very fun, enjoyable uh, air gun. It definitely filled the void for a 30 cal that I needed. And I can't be, I really don't have that much complaint about it. You know, it was a little rough in the beginning, but once I got it going. Oh, I also, the other thing I got, I love and don't like at the same time the original sights that Hatsan made for this. They put a lot of time I bet into designing this iron sight so it's tactical, you can grab it like that. But I don't know. I'm starting to I'm starting to fade away from liking iron sights. I'm more into the red dot and scope range now. So that's just me personally. They do make the gun look really cool though. So, all in all, this is a great air gun. Um, it is a little pricey. I think it's close to the $1,000 range. So just keep that in mind when you're buying it. But I think, especially considering it's holding air, and it hasn't given me any real problems beyond that, I'd say it's on par with my Benjamin Bulldog up here. Can't really see the whole thing, but... And that retail, they don't rarely sell it for retail because it's, you know... They always are marking down the price for whatever reason. But it retails technically for around a thousand. And it's usually like on sale. Well, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. I tried to keep it a little shorter. Don't want to go into too many details of the gun because you guys have probably heard this multiple times already. So <clears throat> if you are looking for a very fun reliable air gun, maybe consider the Blitz. Just keep in mind, you might have to put a little extra TLC into it because it comes too empty. That's one of the big problems. The Bulldog didn't give me any problems because they charged it with a thousand PSI to make sure all the valves and everything stay in place. So if you're looking for an air gun that might need a hair of TLC and will serve you well once you do all that, look no further than this bad boy, the Hot Sun Blitz.
thanks and bye bye.